anything goes down, I know you lot got me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. <laughs> it's good to be the king. <laughs> An evil is coming. But we have a weapon they are not prepared for. The stunt and fight coordinator said that 90% of what we see on screen is all you. Mm -hmm. Why was that important for that physicality to be so real, so visceral? We didn't have the CGI option. We did not have dragons coming from, you know, volcanoes and jumping 50 feet in the air, pulling planes from the sky. We didn't have the benefit of that. We are real human yeah. beings. And so in order for you to enter the story and believe it, we have to do it. Some things are worth fighting for. So I feel very proud to say that 100% of the stunts <laughs> was you know, done. No, she said change that percentage. <laughs> Just change that percentage. 100% percent of the stunts were done <laughs> by the people sitting before you. Yeah. And it was hard. I have to say that. It was really, really hard because I hope it's the same for both of us. We work, we were like, we need to do 100% all yeah, the time yeah, yeah, yeah. or else we don't really feel like it's right. We're not doing right by ourselves, by the characters and by Gina's incredible vision. And she believed in us from the start, you know, that we could do it. You know, this is 1800s. It, I wanted to stay truthful to the environment, to the world. I thought a lot about Braveheart, which was a template, one of my favorite movies. There was no CGI, there was no wire work. It was just real and raw. And that's what I wanted for this. That felt like the most authentic way to do this. And I wanted these actors to really do it as well. Train hard, fight harder. Danny Hernandez and his team really worked with our bodies and our styles, our natural abilities to ensure that all of the choreography was to us, for our capabilities and for the character. So all of the stunts really tell a story. They're not a separate film, which is nice actually. There's no stunt in there that's just for the sake of it. It all adds to everyone's personal storyline. To be able to embody these women and to give them this moment on the big screen, we knew that we had to really bring it for the physicality. And, you know, it was tough. There were so many challenges. You know, we were barefoot for a lot of the shooting and we were on location on multiple different types of terrain. And, you know, modern day people who probably wear shoes, I'd say 80% of the time, it sounds like a small thing, but it is a massive shock to the system when you're spinning a spear on sand. Exactly, like, or, turning. you know, <laughs> spinning on your knees, like oh, yeah. on gravel. And I think in our bodies, you see the cost of what we're doing. Absolutely. It's not just about optics, and it's not just about trying mm. to look cool, be cool as we fight this and this. Absolutely. It costs us something to be fighting and taking lives mm -hmm. and protecting our own. To be a warrior, you must kill your tears. John, you didn't get to show off any blade skills in this one, but you did get to wear the heck Oh, well, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. handed me the blade. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. Checked it back. Presented it. Handed it back. <laughs> Such skill. Yeah, but I, I, I witnessed so much, though. I'd, I'd hope to get an opportunity like that, to train like that, because it's, it's a... It's a beautiful thing. Anything goes down, I know you lot got me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got me. <laughs> it's good to be the king. <laughs> <laughs>